This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Now when DJI first released the Mavic 3, they did let us know that there's gonna be a bunch of features on there that just weren't ready yet. And I was super bummed just like most people because there's things on here that are so new, like all of these new sensors on the Mavic 3. And one of the things that you wanna use or take advantage of is something like ActiveTrack. They said a lot of these things would be coming actually in January, but luckily enough, the firmware has been updated on the Mavic 3 and they did include a bunch of new features on here. Not in January, we are in mid-December and we finally now have Focus Track, which includes Active Track, Spotlight, as well as Point of Interest on the new Mavic 3. Now, as far as the firmware versions, I'm gonna be putting those up on the screen as far as the latest firmware that has been released as of December 9th. That'll include the firmware for both the drone, the RCN1 remote, and also the RC Pro remote. With this new update, it's gonna include Focus Track, time lapse as well as master shots. Now I'm excited about focus track because that is the one that contains the active track, so the follow me functions as well as the spotlight and also point of interest. Per their release notes, there's gonna be a bunch of other things added in this firmware. They have added the raw only format, reduced video recording noise for ProRes on the Mavic 3 Cine, reduced occasional vibration on the aircraft arms, improved return to home performance, improved optical avoidance performance, improved improved hover stability, also fixed the issue with some computers that could not connect to the USB, also fixed some bugs on the remote controller. Now, of course, there's still some features on here that aren't ready yet, and just, I would expect, just like this one, expect it on a future update, things like panoramic and some of the other modes on here, quick shots that haven't been installed yet on the new firmware, so I would expect a, another update, you know, possibly within the next few weeks or in January when they initially said that all of this would be ready. In this video, I do wanna take the Mavic 3 on the course that I normally take and do a little follow me active track mode on the new Mavic 3. But before we do that, a quick word from today's sponsor, Skillshare. And for those who aren't familiar with Skillshare, Skillshare is an online learning community that really focuses around the creative arts. So if you're looking at getting into YouTube, design, photography, videography, illustration, Skillshare has thousands of classes to choose from. I'm a long time Final Cut Pro user and recently Jevin Dovey just released one of his courses on Final Cut for beginners. Now even though I've been using Final Cut for a very long time, you kind of get caught up in your own ways of doing things because they work. But when you watch things like this, even though it's a beginner's guide to Final Cut, there's so many nuggets in here that you'll learn just from other editors. So if you're looking at leveling up one of your creative skills or want to add a new skill to your tool set, make sure you guys check out those links down below from Skillshare. And a huge thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. The first 1,000 people to use my link down below in the video description will receive a free trial month of Skillshare premium membership. And now let's head outside and test out Active Track on the new Mavic 3. All right, I'm back at the place where I normally do all of my Active Track, or at least some of my Active Track mainly because of this right here. Uh, most of the times I've done it just on flat ground, which normally will always pretty work pretty well, but some of the drones aren't able to do this, and that's follow you while you go up on elevation. So that's the reason why I like doing my tests here, and if you guys haven't seen some of my previous active track videos, I did it with the Air 2S versus the Evo version two. I did it with the Mini, uh, sorry, with the Air 2S as well as the Hubson. So if you guys haven't seen those uh, follow me videos, I'll leave those linked above as well as down below in the video description. I've had some pretty mixed results using different drones, uh, but now that we have the new firmware on the Mavic 3, ideally if the Mavic Air can do it, I'm assuming this one should be able to uh, do it without any problems. And for this test, I'm actually gonna be using my DJI Air 2S remote control because I have it uh, on a mount. I would use my RC Pro, but I don't have a mount for the RC Pro, but I do have a mount for this remote control. So I'm using this right now with my iPhone 13 uh, attached to it. I will be shooting at 4K 30 frames a second. Let me switch that here. It does not work in 5.1 at 30. Uh, highest you can go is 4K 60 uh, for the um, Focus Track or Active Track. All you have to do to activate Active Track is and focus track is to select the subject. I'm gonna select me, just draw a box around it. And what I like to normally do is, I will normally actually step to the side just to make sure that it is tracking me properly. There you go. And I'm gonna hit go. And then you actually have a few different options. I'm gonna have it go from behind me, hit go. And it looks like you can actually change what direction you want the drone to follow. So right now, pretty cool. I'm gonna have it follow me 
from behind going up. Here we go. All right, elevation looks like it's moving up with me. So that's always good. Some of the drones that I've used before do not elevate. So this is good. All right, we're at uh, 18 meters up, right behind me, and I do like it. When I was flying the Air 2S, it, it does go up with you a little bit, uh, a little bit slower. This one actually feels like it's a little bit smoother. Uh, if you guys saw the Evo, that one tried moving up with you, but not that great. This one seems right on point. And of course, if you guys saw the Hubson review, that one, uh, that one lost me everywhere. So let's keep going up here. Change my, my gears a little bit. This is a turn I actually really like. Wow, not a problem at all. Look at that. No problem. No problem. Look at that. That's awesome. Okay, so we started at of course, ground level, first pass, no issues, drones right behind me. It moves up in elevation. I started, of course, at ground level. It is now at 61 meters up in the air, which means it does elevate as you are elevating, which is really good. Some of the other drones were not doing that. And I'm gonna change the active track. I want it to now track me from the right side, because that'll be the side where the, um, it'll be on the more on the outside while I'm on the inside. So if I have that on the right side, Active track, right, there you go. All right, let's go, hit go. Got some narrow sidewalks here. And so far, it is tracking me. Okay, I'm turning, let's see where it goes. It should go to my right. Yes, it is, there it is, look at that. That's cool. I'm actually gonna move him back a little bit. No, actually he's good. So the drone's tracking me from this right side, which is really good. Of course, it's gonna go back a little bit as it's uh, trying to maintain, you know, or get you in the shot. But it is tracking me from the side. And that's the great thing about having those new side sensors now is that it's able to track you from the front, back, or from the side. Really cool, wow. Oh, this is, this is awesome. Look at that, all the way around. This is the first time testing out after track. Uh, now the hard part, I'm gonna go downhill. I'm gonna have it track me from the front. And while it's flying down, uh, while I go down, it has to descend with me. Okay, there you go, he's moving. The drone is moving around and he's trying to find the front of me. And there you go. That is cool. That is cool. Wow. Okay, I'm turning. So which means the drone will have to try to come from the side and then try to make it up again and swing back around. Okay. So I'm turning here. There you go, drone is back in front. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go around here, this little turn. Which means the drone should come all the way around. And there's a little hill right here and it's going higher. Look at that. Oh yeah. There was a little hill right there and the drone actually had to go higher to clear it. Wow, this is cool. Now I'm not the now I'm not the bottom yet. What I want to do is uh oh it found me. Oh okay, it lost me for a second, but then it found me again. Wow, that caught up real quick. Okay, what I want to do is actually push it out further away from me. Let's see here. So a little bit further. Right there. 
That was cool. All right, let's continue down. I'm almost at the bottom anyways. Mm -hmm. But it did lose me for a second, and then it, it caught up to me and, fa and found me again. Oh, this is cool. It just went back up. It moved around when it went to that hillside and it, and it dodged it. That's awesome. Look at that, swinging back around. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. No way. How cool. That was awesome. On the way up, it followed me from behind, no problem. On the way down, it followed me from the side. Of course, there were some times where it kind of trailed because I'm, I'm making turns, so of course it doesn't know where I'm going. So it'll catch up to me and then get back to the side. On the way back down, there was a couple places right over here where as I was going down, I was kind of worried because it, the drone is a little bit lower than the hillside. And as it came swooping back around, it actually raised back up, went over the hill, and then continued back in front of me. It actually lost me for a, a quick second there. And then by the time I looked down on my screen, it actually found me again. So I'm actually gonna take this thing back towards because the sun is just about down. Oh, I'm gonna move him over to the left now. Here he goes. Look at that. That's awesome. Holy cow. Look at that. I swung him over to the left. So you can press to go left. And now he's following me from the side. Let's go back again. Go from behind. <laughs> yeah, that is cool. And there it is guys, just the test of the new active track on the DJI Mavic 3. Super excited that DJI was able to get this firmware updated this early. Like I said, they were you know projecting it to be in January. We do now have focus track on the Mavic 3 as well as master shots and also time lapse. As always, if you guys got some value from this video, a big like would be much appreciated. Also, if you guys want to see more in-depth videos on the new firmware of Active Track, Spotlight, as well as Point of Interest, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. I'll be coming out with a bunch of videos on these updates, so make sure you guys do turn on that notification bell. This is Alger Stasio with flightpath.com. I'll see you guys next video. Take care.